the Cavalier. It doesn't look good, Captain. The cultists clearly didn't believe in regular maintenance protocols. Scoundrels, let us hope that they will see the error of their ways soon. First I will take care of the word bearer scum. Then I will find the law book.
gas. Handle the filtering bionics for failure. Loading!
Surprise! Did you come to witness our victory, Inquisitor? I came to serve you the Emperor's justice, just like I did with your foul brothers. Pathetic creature! You cannot stop what is coming, even if you kill every one of us, which you won't.
Captain, I have gained new insight into your father's case. These word bearers were acting on orders from the sorcerer I encountered on the Martyr. They were trying to find Uther's Rosette and lured your father into a trap to reach their goal. In the light of these details, is there any chance that the name of my family could be cleared? Your father acted irresponsibly, but he was not a willing servant of Chaos. We'll see. First, I need that logbook. Go to my father's private quarters and find his personal cogitator. It will open the chamber where he kept his most treasured possessions. I found the logbook, but I can't open it. Take the log back to the ship, Inquisitor. It can only be opened by my ancestral signet ring, which is coded to my DNA. I have opened the logbook, Inquisitor. It was... extraordinary. I held in my hands the entire secret history of my house. I trust it will make fascinating reading. But for now, I only need the details about Uther Tiberius. I can tell you where Gregor Van Winters took the survivors of the Martyr. But that happened a very, very long time ago. It is the only lead I have. Take us to those coordinates, Captain. I'll make the necessary arrangements. Meanwhile, you have a message from the Conclave. This is a message from Inquisitor Helena Gosler. I must tell you, I was in charge of purging the Van Winter family. I have learned that you have reopened the investigation, and in all honesty, I find your decision perplexing. All my actions followed the decrees of the Lex Imperialis and spiritual guidance gained through rigorous penitential practices. Now it falls upon you to make a new decision regarding the future of this house.
Captain, I have made my decision regarding the fate of your house. Your father participated in forbidden practices, but his intentions were not heretical. The name of your house will be cleared. I'm still counting on you and your ship in the future, though. Thank you, Inquisitor. I am very grateful. Rest assured, I will serve your cause with absolute dedication. Exactly. According to the port cogitators, it used to be a mining station. Then it was turned into a colossal plague ward during a system-wide outrage. I need more information on its history. I will locate the central cogitator. It may be able to tell me more. Tiberius. In a way, yes. My ancestor, Gregor Van Winter, founded our house not long after 
he brought Tiberius to this place. And Gregor received his words of trade due to the influence of some new inquisitors in the Calvary Conclave, who used to travel on his ship and who vouched for him. It means that the most loyal followers of Uther quietly returned to the Inquisition after the fall of their master. This might warrant a future investigation. On the central cogitator. Previously classified as a shrine, but it was sealed off almost a thousand years ago. If this place used to be a sanctuary for Uther, his followers must have walled off his most private chambers after he died or left. I'm on my way there. leading to those ancient corridors. It is sealed. Proceed to the cogitator to open it. Follow my instructions. find inside.
is approaching the station. It is broadcasting on the Inquisitorial Vox channels. Their authentication is genuine. They will be landing soon. This must be the right place. It looks like a tomb, but it is empty. But if these Utherians laid their leader to rest here, where is the body? Do you request a trial on the rate of human decomposition over millennia? Don't try my patience, Tech Priest. Even the bones are missing. I'll take a look around. I have found proof that this place was raided by an inquisitorial team. They took away Uther's remains. But why? The survivors suspected treachery, that I know. You have visitors. The inquisitorial ship dispatched a team to the station, and they're heading towards your position. I'll meet them halfway. I am Interrogator Kotar. You are in breach of Code Indigo Protocols, Inquisitor. Even the agents of the Holy Orders need a special permit to enter this area. I must ask you to lay down your weapons and follow me into custody. How dare you address me like this? I will do no such thing, Interrogator. My sincere apologies, Inquisitor. But I must follow me orders. You have left me no choice. Kill him! Where we left off, shall we? Please, Inquisitor! I was only following the orders of Inquisitor Flavius Draken. Why would an Inquisitor send agents against other Inquisitors? My orders were extremely specific. After Inquisitor Draken removed the body buried in this tomb, he set up a team to monitor the station and act immediately if the area is breached. Inquisitor Flavius Draken took away the remains? Where can I find this man? The last time we had contact, he was preparing for a special assignment. The Conclave must have records on his mission. Trust me, I'll find him.
We have a message for you, Inquisitor, and the coordinates of a world in the subsector. I have received your request, Inquisitor. I would strongly recommend that you provide more details on the background of your inquiry next time. Still, I see no harm in disclosing the current whereabouts of Inquisitor Draken. Your fellow agent is currently doing the Emperor's work on a world consumed by the flames of the war against chaos. A whole planet cleansed with blood. They could surely use the help of other Inquisitors. 